All right, what's up? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Chumbles, and um, I'm back with the new uh, guide. So this one's gonna be a um, kind of a revamped build of what I played back when 80 Nidalee got gutted originally, and uh, there's some tweaks and stuff because of new items. This was back way when. And, um, yeah, this was actually a recommended request by, uh, the Power of Aura, so, yeah. Um, so, starting is, let me just move that. Um, so the starting items, I think Doran's Ring is just gonna be the best. In fact, um, you can actually go... You can put all of them in here, but uh, realistically, I think Doran's Ring will be the best overall. Doran Shield is also a good choice if you're against people like uh, Pantheon, for example, or Teemo, uh, somebody that's going to be hitting you a lot. Uh, Doran's Blade, always a good choice as well. If you think you can... Um, so if you if you think you can out-damage them by levels 1 to, I'd say, like, 5, 6, then Doran's Blade would probably be really good because of, obviously, the attack damage that you're going to be doing with your autos. But um, Doran's Ring, I think, is going to be more or less the go-to, but because of top lane being so uh, weird now and that, you know, sometimes you're against tanks, sometimes you're against... Um, assassins now sometimes you're against just bruisers like Darius you kind of have to itemize uh, with that also another um, option is the dark seal and then you'd go dark seal with the corrupting potion because uh, it lasts longer and the stats with it are just really good um, so yeah that's optional not really like too crazy so basically what i'd say is if you're in a matchup that doran's ring is good um like you can get away with taking doran's ring is what i mean then i would recommend doing dark seal instead of doran's ring um and then going with uh the refillable and then uh corrupting potion so now boots i think these are the only three you need uh, you might think, well, what about, um, what's it called? Uh, the Ionian boots, the CDR ones. Um, so the reason you don't want to take these, and these are actually the worst boots other than boots of mobility, is because with your core build, you're getting the 40%, possibly even more, just with your core items so magic pen boots are going to be really strong of course because you're building ap so obviously it's going to complement that uh ninja tabby also a really good purchase you're building a lot of health as you can see just by here and same with the magic resist ones if they have a lot of tenacity and slows uh or the tenacity will counter the slows and so yeah i think I think either one of these boots is really good. Again, situational. If it's a matchup you can beat, I'd recommend just going Sork boots. That way you can try and carry the team fights later on. Because you're not as much of a split pusher with this build. <clears throat> and then if you're in harder matchups, you know, itemize correctly. If you're against uh, AD, go Ninja Tabi. If you're against Mercs, go. Or if you're against AP, go Mercs. If you can't uh, afford to build the Sork shoes. And with the core build, this will be your standard. Um, and it's going to be Iceborne Gauntlet, uh, Rod of Ages. Obviously, it doesn't have to build in this exact order, but you can build accordingly to, again, what you're going to do. Mo you're you're going to most of the time want to build Rod of Ages first just to get that stacking, and that way you're pretty relevant going into the mid game. But again, it's up to you. 
Um, health is always a good stat. So if you're against uh, AP, for example, then building Iceborne Gauntlet's probably the worst of the two options, just because it's, it builds out of armor. And then you have Hextech, which is an item that I included. Uh, this is obviously a new item this season. Or, er, not this season, but it was a new item, and when I was playing AP Nidalee Top, it wasn't actually available. So, I include it. It has really good stats, has good amount of health, AP, and cooldown reduction, and obviously the uh, passive is also really strong, especially in team fights. So you can jump in, burst, use the passive just to get as much damage as possible, and with extra damage that isn't from your kit, um, if you Q somebody while doing that, you're going to do even more damage because your Q is percent damage based on their missing health. And then another I think must have is Zonia's. Because you're AP, you're kind of squishy. Just, you know, blow your load in the team fight, and then just Zonia's. <clears throat> With the build, again, you have 20%. 10 and 10 so right off the bat you are full um cooldown reduction max and unless you go uh down the tree and you get the extra five percent but um yeah this is gonna be the core build i think this will be the standard although there are situational items so lich bane if you're not going against like any AD which is I'd say realistically impossible but um you know m maybe it happens they have Ziggs ADC or something and there's like not even AD carry so Lich Bane also a decent choice so what I did is I kind of lined them up into uh the different options that you can pick so uh Lich Bane instead of this uh Rylize is okay I don't think it's better than Rod of Ages though, but um, you know, maybe if it works for you, then it works for you. But you'd have to substitute Iceborne, I would I would say, because um the passives don't stack. But you know, sometimes maybe the extra bonus uh auto attack range or not bonus, but your auto attack range in human form, maybe you get that iceborne proc and it slows them and then you jump on them and you get the extra slow with the uh, Rylize. So, it's kind of up to you, but personally, I don't think it's a good option. It's kind of whatever, I just put it there just so you have like a, a comparison, I guess you could say. And then you have Hexa Gunblade, also a really good item. Does a crap ton of damage. Um, you're substituting the extra damage for... Uh, extra health and uh the cdr so again it's up to you i think hextech proto belt is the better of the two options especially in team fights which i think this is what you're gonna be excelling at well i know it is but yeah and then you have ga which you could get instead of zonia's you could also get it just with uh with this build if you'd like but I think Zonia's is more than enough for uh, keeping you alive. Then you also have the Abyssal. Gives good uh, stats. You have a good amount of AP, magic resist. But you also got the cooldown. Which is unfortunate because now you're overcapping CDR. Um, and you know the unique passive which is really good. Now uh, this might be one where you're like. Why the hell isn't this there? Because, you know, it's really good, right? Like, with the items that you're building with your core items, why wouldn't you have the void stuff? It doesn't have extra CDR, but it provides, like, a crap ton of more damage, right? But the reason I put it down in situational is because I think it's a good option, but not always a good option. So, uh, what we're seeing is a lot of assassins right now and because of that there's people building less towards uh, magic resist so 
Void Staff is only good if you can hit somebody that has, I think it's like 120 or something, something around 100 something, I think, uh, where Void Staff becomes significantly better than what it would be just uh, what you're looking at, because it's, it's obviously really good, like if you compare Abyssal to this, Void Staff is better if they have more Magic Resist rather than Abyssal, so even though you'd overcap on CDR, I think Abyssal would be a better option in some scenarios, which is why I put it under Situational. And now on to Spear Visage. Uh, again, you're overcapping, but what it provides you is really good. The extra health, Magic Resist, the uh, bonus regen, and the healing passive all really strong, so also situational if you really need that MR and um, the extra health, especially. As well as the healing, the healing is always uh, a bonus, especially since Nilly's heal is weaker than it, what it used to be. And then Sunfire Cape, I think, is also an okay option. Um, you know, the Sunfire Cape by Spawn Gauntlet uh, held that happened uh, last season or I believe it was last season uh, I try to forget about that but um, it was really strong not as strong now but I think Sunfire Cape alone provides a good amount of damage and health armor and obviously the passive which provides the damage also a really good option if you're going against uh, a lot of AD or assassins more specifically uh, the health and armor together are really strong as well as the passive obviously but um, you, with the core you already have a good amount of uh, armor which is why I kind of put it last in the situational I think abyssal and spear visage are the better of the two options in most scenarios uh, you know if you're speaking general and then the extra is just your elixir and the farsight uh, warding. So that's the itemization. And now for, I guess we'll do spells. Sure, why not? So spells, heal, no. Barrier, no. Uh, ignite, eh. It's possible. If you're going against a team with a bunch of healing, then I would recommend ignite. You know, like Swain or uh, Soraka. Those are two that come to mind, you know, like Sona. All those people. Um, Ignite can be a good option. Flash is mandatory. And then I think Teleport is going to be the best. Exhaust is also a possibility if you'd like. But um, I think in most situations, you're going to want Teleport over Exhaust. Especially since, again, you're not going to be split pushing the way you would with AD Nidalee. You know, trying to just take over the game as a split pusher you're gonna want to push out a wave and then group with your team or teleport to your team across the map so i think teleport is gonna be the best option for you and uh now to masteries this is probably the only page you can run with uh with ap nearly top kind of looks weird because you're going down resolve but Again, you're getting so much health with... Actually, maybe I should just start from the top. So, recovery. Either one of these are going to be good. Uh, you can pick whichever one. I think this one's just the better of the two in most situations. Uh, Explorer also can be picked. Uh, it really depends. If you're going against somebody that's going to be doing a lot of poke, then tough skin is better. If you're going against an easier lane, I'd say Explorer is just better. Um, but this is a standard page setup that I have just for every situation. And so you have insight, uh, also really good. Your, uh, teleport cooldown and your flash cooldown, uh, really important. Also perseverance is pretty good, especially since you have so much HP. It, uh, the number that you have to get to can still be relatively high and uh, proc this passive so it's I think it's a pretty good option either one again is really good 
in this case, I think Legendary Guardian is um, the better of these two, especially just because with this setup that you're doing, you're not too worried about getting hit with uh, slows and stuff because, again, you're trying to jump in and deal as much damage as possible uh, while then saving yourself and trying to get out, right? So, um, I think swiftness is, um, I'd say whichever one you'd want to take, I'd say it's 70-30, 70, 70 being Legendary Guardian, uh, for situations, because you're going to be in the team fight, right? So, uh, Legendary Guardian helps a lot, especially because you have the uh, bonus health and everything from all of your items that Legendary Guardian just becomes that much better because it, again, it uh, works with uh, health, armor and magic resist, you know, with the more health you have, the better it becomes. And then Grasp, you have so much health that it's just really, really strong. Um, and you'll see in a second why I think it's even better. So, Savagery, I think, is better than Wanderer. Um, yeah. This one you can kind of pick uh, in Champ Select if you see that you're going to be building Dark Seal as your starting item. Then I'd go Secret Sash. Um, if that isn't the case, then I'd just keep Assassin. Uh, this one's kind of weird. It's like, it's kind of 50 50. Like, you can kind of pick whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter, but I'll just keep it on Assassin for now. But I do think it's more... I think it's better, actually, to have Secret Stash. But it's like... You can dominate top lane, which is why I think this could be better. So it all really depends, again. Depends what you're doing. I'll keep it for here for now. And then Merciless, I think, is just the best one out of the... All, uh, added these two and then uh, green father's gift really strong with bushes uh, even in team fights there's a lot of bushes around the map so just getting this passive really helps hitting somebody and then hitting somebody with your Q in cougar form is also really really strong because again lower they are the more damage it does <clears throat> so this is just the best option out of these ones if you don't like this um, uh, talent or whatever um if you don't like this point then just go into dangerous game it's gonna be the second best option easily so uh i'll keep it there for now though i think this is basically your kind of uh best situation setup again switch these uh, i think this one's just better you can switch these you can switch these um you can switch these but most of the time again i think this was this one is better I'd just keep it on Savagery. These two can be switched. I'd leave it here. And then these can be switched if you'd like. But I still think this one is just the way better option. And now for... Um, <clears throat> that's the other page. Uh, and this is for the... Uh, AP top lane one. So... Disclaimer, that I don't have all the runes that I'd want, or rune pages, I guess I should say as well. So, let me explain to you, um, let me explain to you just the two different page setups that I would personally recommend, uh, if you're able to have these. So... For if you're going against AD heavier team, I'd recommend all of these right here. Um, and then I'd go with uh, the hybrid pen. Um, all of them, like all the way. But like I said, I don't have them all. So, you know, I'm just putting these there just to have them. But I think Hybrid Pen is the better of everything else here. You can also take physical damage if you'd like. Helps in lane. 
but um, I think the hybrid pen is just way better. You're going to be dealing auto attack damage, so the armor uh, lethality part is uh, is still viable. It's still you know it's still factor into your damage even with your Q because it has the AD percentage to it. And um, <clears throat> and obviously the magic pen is really good. The stats between your magic pen and or hybrid pen and just flat magic pen is so small that the extra lethality that you get makes it more worth it to take the hybrid pen, especially with Nidalee. So I think, again, this one is just hybrid pen is just way better with your reds. And then everything here, I'd keep the same for AD. And now for AP. If you're against an AP heavier team or just an AP laner, I would <clears throat> substitute the armor here and I'd go scaling health. I think scaling health is better than flat health. Uh, personally, I think a lot of people agree though with me with, on that. And then with um, your blues, I would have... Um, Eight magic resist, flat magic resist, and then I'd have three scaling. So this would be the setup that I would have with um, if you're against a <clears throat> sorry, if you're against a AP heavier team, then you would want the magic resist page with the extra health that you'll be getting throughout the game, which also you know helps your uh, auto attacks. If you don't, um, if you have either, <clears throat> either, uh, yellows, the scaling health, yellows, or flat armor, technically, the flat armor is quote-unquote better, but with this setup, with, uh, your grasp and everything and how you build, the... Um, per s the bonus health per level is actually way, way stronger than the armor, especially because you are building a lot of armor with your core items that this becomes just way, way, way better. So if you can only pick one or the other, I'd pick the health, the scaling health yellows. If you can't afford them, armor is still fine. Every champ uh, does deal auto attack damage, so you know if if you can't afford it, then uh, armor is still okay. But this is just the more optimal build, and um, <clears throat> that's basically it. But I want to go back to the item set just for a second, uh, just so I can explain something, uh, or sorry, not explain something, but add something rather. So, <clears throat> Rabadon's is also a very good AP item. Um, I'd also consider it. I I completely forgot about it. I was just thinking, like, I know there was an item that I really missed. But, yeah. Um, a really strong item. I wouldn't get until at least your fourth to fifth item. Like, this would be basically your last buy uh, I don't think it's good enough to be a third or second item. So, <clears throat> it, it's, again, it's really situational. Uh, but hopefully all these options and stuff make sense. Hopefully that with this guide you're able to really understand AP nearly top. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And hopefully this was really useful. I think I think this could be a really strong setup. But um, it also takes some getting used to, especially for the AD Nidalee players in the top lane. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully all this makes sense. Um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. And... I will be seeing you next time. I'll probably do a gameplay video with this just to show off how I play it. Um, 
and yeah hopefully that's really helpful to you guys and i would be uploading i think a gameplay today and hopefully a couple more coming into the weekend as well as the week coming up so hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully you found it useful uh hopefully uh the power of aura <laughs> enjoyed this video especially because he wanted it and yeah that'll be everything thanks for all the support and i'll see you next time chumbles out